Hello friends, I am drinking. I'm doing some cooking today. Um, couldn't do my normal setup, so I'm gonna have to split this up into videos, so I'll make sure the transitions are nice and awesome. But today I'm making pasta again, because I just, I love pasta way too much. Um, but this time it's a little different because I am using gluten-free fusilli for the pasta. And I'm gonna make it kind of cheesy. And I still have my veggies though. I've got my onions and my peppers. Uh, that's it for veggies. We don't really have a lot, unfortunately, and we're doing shopping later this week. So, uh, so I've got the gluten-free fusilli. I've got the green onions. I've got the peppers, mixed peppers. I've got cheddar masa, parmesan, and ricotta cheese. So it's basically gonna be like a mac and cheese with veggies. Yeah, yeah. So this is great. Um, I will can't flip the camera, so bear with me as I rotate the camera around. There's my cheese. There's my cheese. There's my cheese. Got the pizza for dinner today with family, so I'm not going to film that. And we've got the pot right here. Yeah, so got to give this a mix. Uh, cooking your pasta usually takes about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how much and how hot your stove is and blah, blah, blah. So this will be ready in eight minutes. I'll drain it and I'll mix the cheese with you all on camera. So yes, I will be back shortly after this is all cooked and gone softened and it's mixed all together. All right, I'll see you later. All right, friends, we are back. I've got my pot over here. I already threw in my ricotta because it needed to be mixed up a little bit and that usually takes longer to kind of melt and get creamier so just yeah we've got that in the pot we're gonna go grab some cheese now I can't use all of this because some of it will be for a pizza for tonight so I'm just gonna um you know doing this with one hand is interesting but you know I got this cheese and throw that right in there right in the pot probably do one more handful one more handful boom oh yeah that's what I like, lots of cheese. Okay, now I got my Parmesan over here. I'm gonna dump in a bunch of this as well, because Parmesan just adds extra flavor, I find, for cheese. All right. Now the fun part, mixing it all up. So this is gonna be interesting with one hand, but I will do the best that I can. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, it's getting melted real nice. All right. One second, guys, I have a solution. Maybe not the best solution, but it's a solution. <laughs> We're doing this again. Okay. Mix that. That's going to be so cheesy. All right, guys, I'm going to kind of get going and mix it myself, and I'll be back in a moment, okay? Okay. All right, there we go, guys. There it is, it's all mixed up. And just cause we're on camera, let's take a little spoonful and try it out and see if I need anything. Cause that's a part of being a good chef. You need to try it to make sure it's good. Mmm, mm, muy bien. Very, very good. Very, very good. I may add some oregano and italiano in there just to make some extra spices but that's really good so there's my gluten-free veggie cheesy pasta there you go enjoy and we'll see you guys in whatever video it comes up after this 